This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I transfer a texture map applied on a model to polypate? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the Earthquake model here loaded in. Now, Earthquake here currently has six subdivision levels. He also has UV mapping, so he has UV coordinates, and he has a texture map applied. So let's say I have a model like this inside of ZBrush, and I want to now convert this model to DynaMesh. So I'd come up here to the Geometry tab here, go to the DynaMesh area, maybe change my resolution to say 512, turn off Blur, and now click DynaMesh. Now after this DynaMesh process completes, since DynaMesh is generating entirely new topology for the model, the UV coordinates that were associated with that mesh are no longer there. So I have lost that texture information that was applied to Earthquake. So even if I come down to the Texture Map tab here and I try to turn the texture on now, since the DynaMesh model has removed the UVs from the mesh, I'm going to get an error like this. So let's say I want to still have this texture on Earthquake here, and I also want to work with this model in DynaMesh. So to do this, I just need to take this texture map and apply it to the vertex color or polypaint information on the model. So I'm just going to undo this here and get back to the version of Earthquake with that texture map applied. And the first thing I need to do is I need to take this texture map and bake it into the vertices of the model. So to do this, I'm going to navigate to the Polypaint tab here and open this up. And in here, there's a button called Polypaint from Texture. So it's going to take whatever texture you have applied to the mesh, and it's going to convert it and bake that texture map into the vertices of the model. So I'm just going to come over here and click that. And after you click this, you'll see this Colorize option has been activated, and you'll see the texture map has been turned off. So now the model here of Earthquake has had its texture map converted to polypaint. So what this means is now I can go back up to this DynaMesh area here and set my resolution again and turn off Blur. And if I DynaMesh now, since that texture map is now being stored into the colorized information or polypaint of the model, when I DynaMesh the model here, that texture map is going to hold. So this is the process you can do to take a texture map that you may have on your model, convert it to polypaint, and then now you can use processes like DynaMesh inside of ZBrush. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.